Hi there. Thank you for stopping by to watch the video and welcome. I'm Rose in the Garden. And if you happen to have watched my last video, you know I was gonna be working around the garden to get things cleaned up and cleared out. Had quite a few things, um, basically garden chores around the backyard here that I started off with about a list of, I don't know, nine or 10 things to do. And uh, two or three or four hours later, uh, the heat and the hot sun, my body told me otherwise. So I think you guys can relate and know how that is when you start off um, again with the best intentions, getting those nine or 10 things done for the day. You always think you can get it done. Um, but then of course, a few hours later after working out in that heat, I gave up, but I am happy with the things that I was able to get done. So I kind of want to show you, walk around a little bit to show you some of the areas I was able to clean up and clear out and what it looks like afterwards. And it just really helps to prepare me for um, a few fall plantings that I want to do over the next few weeks. So I know a lot of you are probably doing that um, wherever you are. I mean, we're in Southern California, so I mean, we don't really have any fall temperatures yet. It's not really cooling off. In fact, this last week has been another heat wave of a week um, in the mid to high 90s. I believe this weekend it's going to cool off a little bit and then it's going to heat up again next week. Um, so that's how it goes here in Southern Cal. But I do look forward to October and November when we do have some cooler temperatures and you know can and really address you know a lot of the fall plants um, over the next few months. Um, so anyway, let's take a walk. I'll show you what I was able to get done. Okay, so let's start with the birds of paradise. So this is my bird garden. I call it the bird garden because of the birds of paradise plants. And a couple weeks ago, these plants were looking pretty dreadful. Um, I hadn't deadheaded the old blooms and so they were looking, I mean, pretty fried, but now they're all cleaned up. I cut back um, a lot of the plants and just really cleaned it all up and you can see um, there are even some new blooms that are starting to sprout up. I don't know if you can see them that well in this picture or video, but in another, I don't know, maybe a few weeks, those buds are gonna bloom so beautifully. They always look so just stunning and regal when they first bloom and those birds of paradise flowers are just so beautiful uh, in, standing proudly among the beautiful green foliage. So, uh, so this is the bird garden. So I didn't do a whole lot of work in here other than um, trim back, get all the, the old foliage off, get them trimmed up, cleaned up, and get those um, dried, fried bird heads out. So it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. It took me a lot longer than I thought, of course, that always happens. Um, and then let's over here, I did trim up the pod of Supertunia Vista Silverberries and Bordeaux. And so it's been a little over a week now. And um, so it's just blooming so beautifully just in just in a, a little over a week ago, I think I trimmed these up. So looking pretty nice. And over here in the pollinator garden, I was able to get a lot of it cleaned out throughout. Um, I still have a lot of work to do in here and I'm still not sure what all I'm gonna do to kind of spruce it up and convert it over the fall. So I'm still trying to work that out. But in the meantime, I was able to get some fresh blooms. Um, so I've got some snapdragons in here and vincas and um, the angelonia back there. Uh, I see the purples and the whites are doing so beautifully. They really like this heat.
And here's just another glance at some of the sunflowers um, that I was able to get a hold of from Sunflower Steve, his Van Gogh Sunflower Seed Collection. And my grandson and I had planted these. I showed you in my last video. They're not really growing any better. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm sure it's just user error, um, but they, <laughs> they look nothing like uh, the sunflowers that Sunflower Steve grows from his sunflower farm, of course. I mean, it's nothing like his farm, of course, but I thought they do okay in these, you know, wide kind of um, barrels here, but they're not doing very well. They're very thin and skinny. They look more like, you know, a daisy flower would bloom. Nothing like I was expecting. Um, so I think that's kind of a fail for me. Uh, so kind of live and learn. But anyway, I mean, I still like them just because my grandson and I planted them together. So this is his little sunflower patch. Um, but right behind me is my sunflower patch that I seeded or sowed sown the sunflower seeds, the Pro Cut Light Series, Whites and Peaches, the Green Sunburst, and then the short ones over here are the Teddy Bear Sunflowers. So they're going to be a lot shorter, but they are very furry and fluffy when they do bloom. And we do have quite a few buds on all of these and a few blooms that are starting to open especially over here in the pro cut light whites or pro cut white lights <laughs> it's so pretty Okay, so I did clean out this planter or pot. It had the Supertunia Vista. I believe the bubble gums and the silverberry were combined and they just totally fried after those high temperatures and the heat wave throughout August and September. So clean those out. And I put this hookra in, um, which I love the color and the texture of it. I'm just not happy with it in this pot. So, I'm gonna have to kind of find a new home for it, maybe back in the garden that I'm working on in the back corner, which let me show you what I was working on back here. Uh, so we've got this, this is like the back grotto corner area that I always call. Um, but look at how pretty the uh, mini, Super Junior Mini Indigo. So that's really bloomed out quite a bit since I trimmed it back and a few of the Super Junior Mini Pinks are hanging in there. But here's what I wanted to show you. So I was working back here and got a lot of, you know, deads cleaned out, but there's a few things I still need to clear out. So still working on it. But what I wanted to show you is I took some cuttings from my Wicked Witch Coleus in the front and I rooted those over a few weeks and let me get closer in here. So I planted those in the ground. So here are the cuttings from the Wicked Witch Coleus up in front. And so they're doing well. They've been in the ground for a little over a week now and hopefully they'll do well and just, you know, grow back here to fill in some space and add some color texture in this little path and I planted in that other hookara there. Here's another few cuttings of the coleus and the, let's see if I can get here, a nice picture of that back walk, walking path. Um, here's a hosta that I planted into the ground. So hopefully that'll grow, you know, to about two to three feet wide. But here is that space I'm working on. I still have a lot to do, um, but it's 
a pretty little nook in the corner that I like to refer to as my secret garden, kind of in progress. But anyway, guys, that was as much as I could do um, to get things cleared out and ready for some fall plantings coming up in the next few weeks. So I hope you enjoyed just watching some of the things I was able to get done. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, this grass area is just a whole nother project we're going to be working on. But thank you for joining me today, guys. I hope you get out in your gardens and get things cleaned up and ready for your fall plantings as well. So have a great rest of your day, everyone. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.